This weekend, the first Trader Joe's in the state of Florida is set to open its doors. And ahead of a grand opening, farm workers scored a long sought after victory with the grocery store chain. On Thursday, Trader Joe's signed a landmark agreement to pay one penny more per pound of tomatoes picked by immigrant farm workers in South Florida. The deal came a day before planned protests from the Coalition of Immokalee Workers. FSRN's Kelly Benjamin has more. Protests were planned in more than 40 cities nationwide this weekend against Trader Joe's for failure to sign on to the Coalition of Immokalee Workers' Fair Food Program. The program, developed by tomato pickers in collaboration with growers and the food industry, consists of improved labor standards for farm workers in Immokalee, who often work long hours picking tomatoes under the Florida sun for below minimum wage. The Fair Food Agreement, signed Thursday, commits Trader Joe's to paying a premium of one penny more per pound of tomatoes and to only buying tomatoes from growers who comply with the Coalition of Immokalee Workers' Code of Conduct. Cruz Salucio is a tomato picker from Immokalee. We feel very happy. We've been struggling with this, with this corporation for quite a while. I think it's an important step forward in the campaign for fair food because each corporation that signs on only strengthens the code of conduct to protect workers' rights in the fields but also increases the bonus that they're paid through the penny per pound program and that's good. And so we're very happy but um, it's important to highlight that this triumph doesn't just belong to the coalition indeed it belongs to all the people across the country who for the past few years have been struggling alongside us that means students, people of faith and others that have compelled Trader Joe's to come to the table and do the right thing. Uh, but the struggle is far from over. We have to get the remainder of the supermarket industry to likewise support what Trader Joe's has just signed on to. Early Friday morning, a group of a dozen tomato pickers embarked on a pilgrimage by bicycle from the tomato fields of Immokalee to Naples, Florida, originally planned as a protest to confront Trader Joe's at the company's first Florida grand opening. The group canceled the protest and instead bicycled to the public supermarket across the street. On behalf of myself and the other farm workers which are here with me today, uh, we just rode our bikes here from Immokalee, uh, about give or take 30 miles or so, and we're here um, to invite publics to join in the, the fair food program. That's Cruz Salucio addressing Scott Kiesel, the manager of the local public supermarket in Naples. Well, I'll certainly pass on your message to my corporate office. All right. Thank Thanks. you. With the agreement with Trader Joe's behind them, the Coalition of Immokalee Workers intends to turn their attention back to public supermarkets. In March, several tomato pickers intend to hold a week-long fast at the public's corporate headquarters in Lakeland, Florida. Kelly Benjamin, FSRN, Naples, Florida.